Marava friends, macOS Ventura on Intel Base Mac running as a virtual machine VM powered by QEMU hardware accelerated with Apple's HVF hypervisor. So yes, this is an alternative to open core and with this method you can run macOS Ventura on your unsupported Mac like I am doing. There are two different ways to install it. The online and the offline installation method. So I came so I came back to this GitHub script. And if you go to the pull request, we see a gentleman by the name of Mike Hardy. All credit goes to this guy, not me, for this method at least. He has given us a way to install Ventura offline. So to download, to do that, we need to download the full final installer for macOS Ventura. And the easy way to get it is to browse to this website and click on the install assistant package. And yes, it's more than 11 gigs. So we have to be patient and we need to download this file in its, in its entirety. Now we can, you can watch me and download this or in the meantime, we can do something more productive. So let's go back to the, <laughs> let's go back to the script and we need the, uh, we need this, the GitHub repository to down, to make the installer in addition to the DMG that we are downloading. Okay. So in addition to the package that we are downloading, so we need to clone it and I'll fire up my terminal and check that we have things separate. So I like to keep things separate and make a directory called QMU and I'll change my directory into that. And then I'm going to clone this Git directory. So and I, I assume you have Git on your Mac. If not, you can install it from Homebrew. And if you don't have Homebrew on your Mac, I would highly recommend installing it. And I have also installed QAMU and other tools through Homebrew. It's like it's the pack best packet. It's a packet manager for the Mac. I won't say best, otherwise brickwax will be out. So once the uh, repository has been cloned, we can change CD into that repository, and you will just make sure that we have the latest bits by doing git pull rebase. And it says you're already up to date. So if we change into the scripts directory and we check. We have different scripts to create Big Sur, Catalina, High Sierra, Mojave installer. But, okay, if we change into this Ventura directory, we see we have a makefile script in the Ventura directory. So there is a makefile script, but we need to get the actual script to, down, to convert the package to the DMG. And where will you get that script? Yes, Mike Hardy is the hero here. So <laughs> let's go back to that uh, pull request. And he says, just follow on to say that he has used this script and it's working. So if it works for him, it should work for us too, right? And this is what I'm going to show you. So let's click on that script there. And you see, we have this script, this beautiful script that he's created. And he has changed some things. He's, I don't know, but credit goes to him. So. Let me, we have to get the script. So uh, we are going to view the file and to download the script, we'll just copy the name because we need that name here. And let's download the script, not from here. I am bad with GitHub. So let's click on raw and yes. And then let me select all and copy and paste. So I'll select all copy and paste. It doesn't work. So let me, what it's, let me save as. So yeah, save as works. So we're going to save in the downloads directory. And now that the script has downloaded, we are going to move it from the downloads directory to the scripts directory inside Virocolia's script, OSX uh, script. So I'm going to say move from my downloads directory to downloads directory create DMG Ventura script, SH script. It's an executable script through here. And if we check with LS, then yes, we have that script. So let's verify the contents of the script. Let's not blindly run it. And we are going to see that, of course, we have the same script. That means we can shut down Firefox. And let me go to the script and read that things are looking good. Yeah, 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 yes, 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 looks good. I mean, <laughs> Looks good, yeah. I mean, I can't do any other script, so you have to trust this guy. I mean, I mean, I trusted him. You should. I mean, it's your call. I mean, if you want to do it, so looks good. So we are going to change the permission and make it executable. Say chmod plus x and create dmg.script. 
and on the following day the uh, the uh, the installation the installed assistant dot package dot created as you can see my background has changed and yes we have a package we have downloaded 11.3 gigs so we'll double click on it and then we'll click on continue and what this will do is it will install the package into your applications directory so click on install and this should go in a jiffy it should not take very long it will ask you for your administrative password enter your password and it takes 40 mb no it takes more than that so it is writing file and what this will do is it will install an app in your applications folder that mike hardy's script will use to create the ventura dmt and if you go to the application folder yes install macOS ventura app is there we have it good 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 great great so this is what we need and now we are going to fire up the script which will convert this to a dmt so if we go into the scripts folder and we say dot front slash create dmg ventura dot sh and yes, you see on the right there where there's a Ventura.dmg, the install app is the app inside the applications folder. We have an install macOS Ventura app and the output disk is on the desktop Ventura.dmg. And yes, this will take time depending upon the CPU capabilities of your Mac. And after some time, you have to enter your administrator password because it's trying to create a disk that is based on my understanding. And yes, uh, it will take some time, so please be patient. And after some time, we have the disk created. So this is the offline installation, entire DMG, Ventura DMG, that we will use in Dhiru's Kholia script to install it. Dhiru Kholia script only has, downloads the recovery image. So if you just download the recovery image, your installation is going to go in an online mode. So it will download the Ventura bits in real time while it is installing. What we have done is through the offline method, we have downloaded 16 gigs and we are going to use this for our installation method. Now I'm gonna start all over again. And if we come down, then we will find that yes, Dhirukolia now supports the offline Mac inst Mac OS installation, which I'm going to demonstrate and the online method also, so contributing back, you can always do your bit to help this Git project. If you check the requirements, we need a modern Linux distribution and QEMU greater than 6.2.0 with CPU, relatively modern CPU. So I have the latest bits of QEMU that is 7.1 uh, something. Uh, if I can remember this from the top of my head, it's 7.1.0. And it says we need a modern CPU. So I am running this on a CPU more than a decade back. So if you have a better system than this, then you'll be good to go. All right, and we are running Mac OS, so things will be, oh, things will be fine. All right, so let's, coming down, I'm gonna go step by step for the installation preparation. And it says KVM may need the following to, uh, tweak on the host machine to work. Since we do not have KVM on Mac OS, Yes, this will go, this is going to fail. All right, so let's come down and we see we need Q, QEMU and some other packages out of which what we require on macOS, if you have QEMU, otherwise please install it through the Brew Manager, then we just need DMG to IMG and I'm going to install it through Brew. So Brew will install the appropriate bottle for your Mac distribution. Okay, Mac, Mac version. Okay, and now it says add user to the KVM and LiveWord groups. And you know what? These commands don't work on macOS because this is not a Linux system per se. All right, so let's come back, come down, and then we are going to clone this repo, which will help us install macOS Ventura on our Mac. Next up, let's us clone this repository. So I'm going to make a new directory called QMU and CD into it. And then I'm going to git clone it. After the repository has known, we'll move into that directory and we'll say git full rebase to make sure that we have the latest bits. Next up, we'll fetch the macOS offline online installer. And once the installation bits are downloaded, we will need to change the downloaded DMG to an IMG. So we'll use this command DMG to IMG. And if we enter it, then 
our DMG will be converted into the IMG, the format that is required by this script. Next up, we'll create a hard disk and I'm going to bump it up to one TV saying that this is the place that our macOS Ventura is going to be installed. Now coming down, it says the installation is almost ready. We just need to run the script, but we always have to change the script. Remember guys, there's always something to change. And it says the tip we have to use a non APFS file system. All right, so let me check the uh, model of my CPU and why this is important because you need to know the number of cores, the number of threads and the number of physical CPUs that you have. So that will be required to modify the script. So if we check on the script, then there is a macOS script specifically. And if we open it up, then if we come down, we will find that we need to change this part. Okay, allocated RAM, you can allocate half of what you have. If you have 16, allocate eight, I have eight. So I'm allocating four gigs of RAM. So 4096, so 1024 into four is 4096, okay. And I have two cores and two threads, so that will remain two. I changed from pro to two. So I'm going to say SMP is equal to four and threads is equal to threads and scores is equal to cores, okay. Oh, well, now we need to come down to this path where it says the VARS, OVMF VARS 1024768. So we need to comment out, not comment out, remove the 1024 and 768. And we just, we need to go with OVMS VARS. And this is all through my experience of making videos for other platforms. Okay. Now this is the path. The install media is very important, guys. You see, I am using the repo path base system.img. This is for the online installation method. So in the online installation method, it will download all the 16 gig that is required to install macOS Ventura. If you are using the offline installation method, you need to change the path here, where it says file is equal to, you need to give it to the path of the Ventura DMG that is on the desktop or the IMG once we have converted it. Okay. So, Coming down again, uh, we do not need monitor STDIO and device VGA will be fine for some otherwise we can and we can bump up the memory from 128 to 256. I think the max we can go is 512, but VGA has is like the second best in QEMU. So for Mac, it is recommended not to use it. I don't know why they insist on VGA. So and the acceleration is HVF, as I said. This is for a native to Mac OS, but we'll use Vert.io. So it looks good. And we will safely say, okay, we can't find the script. You know, guys, we have to modify the permissions. So I will say, let's chmod plus X. That means we want to make it executable. Uh, open core boot dash Mac OS dot SH. Now we are ready to run. So Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Yes, and you see there are some warnings and things look good. I think we can safely say lift off. We have a lift off and using what IO it is so big that I have to click on it inside and then you can use your uh, mouse keys, mouse keys or keyboard keys to go right and left and hit the Mac OS base system. And after all this gibberish, we will be presented with this screen where we have to select the disk utility and we have to format the disk that we want to install macOS Ventura on to an AP non-APFS file system. Remember, I mean, you can go with FPAPFS, but I am going with macOS external journal. And once the installation, the format is done, come back and click on reinstall macOS Ventura, continue and continue again from here, click on agree once you're present, uh, presented with a EULA and install it on the disk that we have just formatted. And Guys, from this point on, it is probably going to take six to eight hours and a lot of patience and some luck for your half, on your behalf. And I have gone to this setup in the, my Linux video. So if you want to see the exact steps, please, you can see that. I can tell you there will be three reboots. In the first two reboots, you have to go to the installer. In the third reboot, you have to go to the Mac HDD that you have uh, installed Ventura on and it will be taking, taking you to the screen where you can select your country and from there install macOS Ventura. But I will show you 
these experience if you have for the offline installer this was the offline installer and the steps are exactly the same you format your disk and then click on install Mac OS Ventura and this will take a little less time because we have downloaded the entire 16 gigs previously remember okay so click on I just showed you twice one was like the off the online and the offline and now I'm going to show you the experience of running Mac OS Ventura on an unsupported Mac Intel based Mac okay so the first boot will take some time and I have sped this a little video a little up so and I'm using Vert IO, which makes this screen large. So I, now I am back with uh, VGA. And with VGA, the size looks good on my screen because I have a MacBook Pro and the screen size is really small. I mean, not really small, sorry. If the screen size is like 13 inch probably. So we, using VGA uh, for the graphics make, makes the display uh, appropriate for my laptop. If you are using Vert IO, then it scales it to like 1920 by 1080. So if you have a 1920 by 1080 monitor, it's look, gonna look amazing. Okay, so internet works. So we have Macros Ventura running uh, Google using Safari, and we are searching on Mac about Macros Ventura. And I can even show you that YouTube is loading up. So this was it, guys. I hope it was not too long for you. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.